Reimagine Co. is a community center and a hub for sustainable living and collaboration in this community. We are promoting zero waste, we're promoting community, we're promoting art, and coming together and finding a sense of community here in downtown London. And we will have workshops, we will have film screenings, we'll have zero waste 101 um, sessions to help people learn and understand about how they can reduce their um, their footprint um, when it comes to making less trash. And we also have a small um, retail store where we'll be selling plastic free versions of a lot of day to day items so people can start to reduce their own personal waste if they'd like to. And we also have an amazing art hive which is a community art studio or art library that's totally free and where people can come to express themselves and make art out of upcycled or donated items. Putting in what's called the 2050 Ocean which is based around the statistic that in 2050 there's going to be more plastic than fish in the ocean by weight if we don't do something about our current plastic habits. So our intention is to have community members come and add to these um, dangling plastic um, pieces and add their own plastic to the, to the installation so that we can have a visual of what our community um, impact is when it comes to plastic. And the idea is to visualize what the plastic will look like if you were to be in the water, looking up or around you, floating in this space into, in the water, and um, seeing all this plastic, and seeing what that might you know, feel like or look like um, in real life. The first thing is to really take a look at your own, uh, your own life, your own garbage can. It's a good place to start. Um, just seeing the items that you use the most and being aware of you know, where your garbage is coming from or where it's sourced, if it's food packaging, if it's shipping material or whatever. Um, and looking around and seeing if there are alternatives to that. Um, you know, not everything you can find plastic free, but lots of things if you look at your farmer's markets or alternative stores, you can find, you know, plastic free versions of your favorite things. And I think uh, more than anything, it's a mindset shift and, you know, really realizing that it's our responsibility and that when your garbage leaves the curb, that's not the end of the story.